Good morning. I'm Prerna Gandhi and I'm a research associate at the Vivekananda International Foundation. Today I would be giving you a brief update on the ongoing uh, summit between uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and President Xi Jinping in Beijing. Now this summit is important uh, because uh, it is happening after a hiatus of many years of major diplomatic activity between China and Japan. Uh, though we had uh, Premier Lee, Lee Keqiang visit uh, Japan in May this year for the China-Japan-South Korea uh, trilateral meeting, uh, this is important because uh, almost uh, after a span of seven years, uh, the Japanese Prime Minister would be uh, visiting uh, China. And uh, though we also expect uh, President Xi Jinping to attend the G20 summit uh, next year uh, in Japan in June. Now, um, we've seen a lot of uh, flurry of, you know, political and diplomatic activity um, in the preparation to this summit. We've had reciprocal uh, visits by foreign ministers of both sides. Uh, Taro Kono visited China in January and uh, Foreign Minister Wang Yi visited uh, Japan in April this year. The foreign ministers also met on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly in September this year. Uh, we also had uh, the fourth high-level economic dialogue in April after a span of seven years. Uh, the hotline uh, mechanism was finally instituted, uh, though the agreement had been, uh, you know, agreed in principle in 2007. Uh, we also had the financial dialogue in August uh, and uh, we also had uh, the first defense uh, ministers meeting on the sidelines of the ASEAN defense ministers meeting plus in Singapore in October uh, early this month. What can we expect uh, from this summit? Uh, well, uh, a number of outcomes uh, can be, uh, you know, uh, speculated upon. First, uh, we can assume uh, China and Japan to resume uh, their fleet visits uh, after uh, 2011. And it's expected that uh, the Japan MSDF uh, would invite Chinese warships to visit uh, for their annual uh, fleet review next year in Japan. Uh, we also expect the currency swap uh, agreement uh, to be resumed. The earlier currency swap agreement had expired in 2013. It's also expected uh, that the Japanese uh, may push uh, for uh, removing restrictions on Japanese food exports uh, that had been put uh, by China after the 2011 Fukushima crisis. Uh, we can also expect uh, some uh, form of panda diplomacy, uh, as uh, Prime Minister Abe has mentioned uh, in the news that he might request uh, the Chinese side to send a giant uh, panda for one of the zoos in Japan. There's also a possibility that an agreement on uh, maritime search and rescue could be signed uh, between the two sides. Uh, we also uh, can expect that some form of understanding on North Korea uh, could be mentioned uh, in the joint statement uh, between the two countries after the summit is over. A major, uh, you know, agreement uh, that we can expect is uh, to be on the instituting of the innovation dialogue as uh, Japan feels that the best way to address, uh, you know, their IPR concerns uh, with China is by, uh, you know, collaborating and, you know, working together with them. Lastly, uh, what has been the uh, Japanese, uh, you know, uh, engagement with BRI? Though uh, the Japanese uh, LDP Secretary General had attended the Belt and Road uh, Forum, uh, we've uh, not had a very clear position of uh, the Japanese uh, on the BRI initiative till now. After Xi Jinping had announced the Belt and Road in 2013, Abe had announced the Partnership for Quality Infrastructure in 2015, which was expanded to Expanded Partnership for Quality Infrastructure in 2016. Uh, the key words to note here is quality infrastructure. Uh, Japanese have also been major users of the Trans uh, Eurasian uh, Railway, which is one of the five major projects of the Belt and Road uh, Initiative. Further, uh, considering uh, the uh, growing, uh, you know, struggling Japanese mega banks today, 
uh, we see that you know banks such as Mitsubishi, UFJ, and Mizuho Bank uh, do uh, see the Belt and Road Initiative uh, positively and seek to expand uh, you know their international venues through the initiative. Uh, much of the news has focused on a possible collaboration on a high-speed rail project in Thailand, connecting the three major airports. Uh, we are yet to see uh, how uh, you know agreement or any uh, major signing would happen on this aspect. Uh, lastly, um, in concluding, uh, what uh, you know would be the major outcome of this summit? Well, uh, we can say that it would be more like a Goldilocks mean where uh, the Japanese, uh, in view of the current uh, pressure that President Trump is putting on China, would not uh, you know, seek to uh, show too much friendship with the Chinese, while at the same time, he would uh, continue to pursue uh, what he had mentioned uh, last year in the APEC meeting in Da Nang as a fresh start. So, uh, the Japanese will have to maneuver between, uh, you know, not positioning themselves as too friendly uh, to the Chinese or too friendly to the Americans to meet their foreign policy requirements. Thank you.